Okay, let's use a data table to help do a quick, basic, simple simulation here. And I have already set up just a quick column of just random numbers, random numbers 1 through 10, just a quick refresher on how to do that. I've done equals random, open close parentheses, times 10, which will give me a random number between 0 and 10. And then I've added those up using the sum function, summing B1 through B10. And in this case, I have 39.7417. Every time I hit F9, recalculates these values. Surprisingly, it's going to be in the 50 range most of the time, which actually should not be surprising. And now I want to do that a thousand times, but I don't want to manually do it. So we're going to use a function in Excel called data table. And I'm going to go ahead and put a 1, 2, and from here, I am going to highlight these values and let's just go ahead and do it the, the quick way, the easy way. There's a, a, a function that will copy this down for you as many times as you want, but um, I'm just going to go ahead and do it that way. It's a little easier. And I'm going to delete the, those other values. So now we have a thousand um, cells here that are numbered so we can count how many times we do it. And what I want to do for using data table is I'm going to go ahead and put a reference in this next to the first one down to the answer. Now that would be that could be the answer uh, or the profit number on your big um, simulation problem. It could be a sales number. It could be really any other factor that you're wanting to take a look at. It could be the number of uh, condos that get smashed in a hurricane. Um, whatever number that you want to have and then you might want to run that for a thousand hurricanes, what would be the, the most likely answer here? And then we could run our statistics like our standard deviation, uh, get a mean and so forth. And we'll do a couple of those here in a minute. So what we want to do for a data table is highlight this entire area, which includes this cell, this cell, and then all the way down. Now to quickly go ahead and highlight this whole column, I'm going to click only on the first value, hold my shift key down, hit end on the keyboard and then down and it just quickly jumps all the way to the bottom. Now I'm still holding my shift key down and I'm going to click right there and I'll let my shift key go. Now I've got the whole area highlighted. I could have just done that with the mouse but that was a little bit faster. And now I'm going to use a function called data table. You'll see it on the menu under data table. Now in the case when I'm doing a simulation it's a little quirky way of using data table, not really how it was designed to be used, but I'm going to move my cursor into the column input cell box. And then I'm going to click anywhere on the spreadsheet that I don't have any data. Let's just say I click right over here, for example. And now I'm just going to hit OK. Now what you see it did is it has calculated a value for this entire spreadsheet, but it's doing it a thousand different times. If I were to just copy this 41 or this value here into all of these cells, let's say, let's, let's do that for a second. If I were to take this and point to it and then just drag it down, it's not going to work because it's only calculating that value one time. And so it doesn't give us what we actually I didn't do that right ha I needed to put my absolute references in here so let's go ahead and hit my F4 hit enter and now let's drag it down I knew something didn't look right but you see here this isn't very helpful for a simulation because it's giving you the same value every time so I have to use this data table technique to give me a thousand different values Every time I hit F9 or make a change in my spreadsheet, it's going to recalculate. Now what's great is now I can do some of my statistics. Let's do a, um, an average. And I'll use my average formula over here. Equals, equals average. And I'm going to go ahead and I'll highlight this column. And it would have been a lot easier if I just named this range. So I can just say data instead of having to highlight this, this like I'm doing it uh, this time. And 
I need to put my closed parentheses over there, so I'm going to go ahead and do that and hit enter. Now let's go up and see what my average was. 49.4404. Now let's hit it again. It's going to be right around 50 every time. It should be. And now this time instead of copying all those silly cells, oh it's pretty easy, it's one through a thousand. I'm going to copy that guy. And I'm going to double click in this cell. And this is an interesting way to copy. If I want to copy a cell and not copy a formula and not change it, I want to copy it and then enter the cell and then paste the formula instead of dragging it. If I were to drag it, it would have changed the absolute values or changed those references to the cells. It would have shifted them all down one. Now that I've got average in here, I just want to change that this time to standard deviation. STDEV. And that tells me that on average, my values are varying about 8.84 from the mean. If, if you remember how we talked about it today, this is actually using squared values. So it's putting a little bit more weight on the ones that are further away, like this 65. And we would label that standard deviation. Okay, now you see what happens here is every time I hit F9, it recalculates these thousand values and it also recalculates my average and my center deviation. So that's a great way instead of having to take this value here and copy it and paste it. Do it again, copy and paste it. Do it again, copy and paste it. What you get now is a thousand of them all done at once and I could have gone to 10,000 if I wanted to and it would have zipped out 10,000 of them in Excel in, in a jiffy. Okay, hopefully this helps and hopefully you guys can deploy this technique in your simulation projects and in your business scenarios at work. All right, bye.